Is it look this way? Yeah, look this way. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that there? I can what, uh, what is this? What is this big head? Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Can, I can fix like <laughs> what, what is your guns? No guns? Okay. Ah, oh, good evening everybody. This is fine. <laughs> it's like, good evening, everyone. This is Yusuf Chowdhury tuning in live from San Antonio, Texas. It is 10 p.m. Central Time. Well, first of all, let me check and see if this, uh, what is this, what is this? If this microphone gonna work because I didn't hook it up. Let me see if it works. Shoot in the dark, SA. Yusuf, you, uh, Yusuf has company tonight. Y'all say, yeah. Uh, Y'all this say always has come. Baraka. Has come like, <laughs> what was that? Baraka. What is that? Look at that. Idris is like working, doing some work. Y'all, y'all doing your work, right? Y'all doing work, right? Yeah. Y'all need to do some work. I don't, I don't, I don't pay you guys to waste time here. Yeah, they're coming up with some ideas that they coming up with ideas that they're not gonna take any action on it. Just to let you know. to different houses. Let me check and see. I'm taking action right now, bro. Look at me. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Let me hook up this headset. Uh, if can y'all hear me clearly? I hear myself. That's weird. Uh, let's see. Let me know if y'all can hear me clearly. Head down, head down, head down. Let me check this. Uh, geek party Friday night. Uh, something like that. Y'all geeks? No, man. I play sports. Uh, that guy said he plays sport. He's and not I a geek. Books. And I'm a programmer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know how where from where these guys just showed up. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Dude, I don't hear myself. Man. That's so weird, man. All right, hey, shoot in the dark. Can you hear me? <clears throat> oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. No, yeah, I can say. Don't worry. Okay, so I just didn't didn't make hot chocolate for you guys, so all right, all right. it's all good. Do your work. Geek party Friday night. Yeah, geek party Friday night. So today's subject, folks, is going to be: Do you have a question about digital marketing or online marketing? So feel free to ask, please. Shoot in the dark. S A said the sound is clear. I just hooked up this, uh, you know, this this wireless headset has a has a long uh, battery life. How long is it? Uh, I charged this like two days ago and it's still. That's still so surprising. Full. I have a headphone that would last me at least like six or seven uses. Yeah, it's like a uh, forty bucks. Not bad. Not yeah, bad at all. Uh, let me go ahead and share this. Uh, Tell them what uh, brand it is. Tell them the model. Sean Dexter. What's up, my man? Good to see you. Sean Dexter is another awesome WordPress developer. Oh, sweet. Designer. He has his own company. Whatever. And uh, he's an awesome guy. Sean Dexter joined us tonight. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Is he a de- developer? It's Sean Dexter is an amazing WordPress developer. Yes. Uh, cause I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a software developer as well, but like, I don't know about Never mind. So let me go ahead and share this in my page. And like I said, folks, tonight's topic is your questions. Do you have any question about digital marketing? So what is digital marketing? Digital marketing consists of anything from branding, content marketing, search engine, online ads, or or search engine ads like Google ads and Bing advertising, social media ads like you know Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, uh, Instagram. Uh, then you have web development, uh, graphics, branding, WordPress, you know, landing pages. So uh, all these are part of the digital marketing. Rob Sanders, my man, what's going on? Bonjour, amigo. Uh, what's the brand? Very, very busy day. Haha, that's what Sean said. Shoot in the dark. Where is the ladies at? Uh, well, guys, where are the ladies at? Just sausages. He said just sausages. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anil, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Greg L. Guzman, uh, how can I do digital marketing the best? That's actually, Greg, that's a, that's a general question. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who's laughing, but that's a general question. 
And yes, it's too much. Uh, good evening, Rose. Rose, how are you doing, Rose? Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Beautiful people <laughs> tune in tonight. So, but still, to answer your question, Greg Guzman, uh, his question is, how can I do digital marketing the best? Well, first of all, as I mentioned, digital marketing, it's a broad subject. So in order for you to do the best, first of all, you have to know who is your customer, who is your client, and these headsets keep falling down. Okay, who is your customer and based on what your customer need. If, you, if your customer needs help with Facebook ads on how to get targeted audience, then that's what you're going to focus on. If your customer doesn't have a website and they need one, then you have to understand who's their target audience and how you're going to website, how, how are you going to build the website to bring in the targeted traffic and convert those visitors into a paying customer. So there's so many ways. So I don't have a simple answer. So it depends on exactly or specifically what you want to do. Rob Sanders says, how do you find out what social media most people are using in segments you're targeting? <clears throat> that is an excellent question. Well, the thing is, there, first of all, there are many resources, companies that already did the research, like, you know, Social Breaker, uh, Social Media Examiners. They have a lot of data about what works and what doesn't work, okay? Then you have to look at what's popular on the market right now. Then when you log into those channels, try to see if your target audience exists in those places or whatnot. Because there is no such thing as one social media platform better than the other. Why? Because every platform somehow or the other have your customers there. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? 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 What is sense? Does that make sense, Rob? You know what I mean? So... For, for example, right now, Facebook, the, the top three, you have Facebook because it's owned by Mark Zuckerberg, right? Then you have LinkedIn that is owned by Microsoft and, of course, YouTube owned by Google. So these are the top biggest three. But you also have, you know, the Instagram, part of Facebook. You have Twitter. You have Pinterest. Now the TikTok is getting popular. But you, have, you also have to look at the audience. According to the numbers, the majority of the followers are young folks. So I'm not sure if your product or service going to fit that, you know what I mean? So you do have to understand and do some research and find out in these social platform or platforms, do my customer exist? Then you start from there. Rose said, how do I get started with online business? Another excellent question, but just like Greg Al Guzman, it is kind of too general. When we say, how do I get started with an online business? What do you mean by online business? Because online business can be so many things, right? It can be an e-commerce. It can be selling books. It can be selling educational videos. It can be uh, selling educational white papers. It can be selling uh, affiliate marketing. I mean, there's so many. So try to uh, be a little bit specific when you see online business, what do you mean? Because your question is similar to, how do I get started with medical school? Okay, what medical school do you want to specialize in? Right? When we say, how can I start a business? Okay, what kind of business you're looking into? Does that make sense? So if you can elaborate, please, and be a little bit specific, then I can give you a specific answer. Otherwise, if your question is general, then you're going to get a general answer. And the answer is gonna, going to be, how to get started with online business? Well, learn online business. What is online business? What is online? What is the internet? Right? What is online marketing? What is digital marketing? You know, uh, how do my customers behave? How do the, my audience behave online? What other platform out there? What is social media? What is click funnels? What is lead pages? What is online ads? See, there's so, so many areas when it comes to online. Right. You can start a business, for example, if you're a designer, you want to sell a T-shirt. There's so many companies, including Amazon, where you can upload your own design and let companies like Teespring or Printful to basically print the design for you. And they will sell the T-shirt on your behalf and they will get a 50 percent cut. That's just one way. If you're a photographer, right, you want to earn extra income, you can create online training for other photographers or for beginners who want to learn photography. Or you can do reviews 
on best lenses, best, best uh, camera devices, and sign up as an affiliate with this company. So when people buy this product, you get paid commission. Do you see what I'm saying? So online business is a broad area. So figure out specifically which area, area you want to focus on. Then I can tell you what are the steps that you need to follow. Make sense, Rose? Uh, Sean Dexter said, makes sense. I'm always learning. Awesome. Steve, what's going on, my man? Steve, did you already set up the studio? We're supposed to meet up sometime. Check out your studio. How is everything with your website? Got any question tonight? It is 10, 10 p.m. Central Time right here in San Antonio, Texas. If anybody has any more questions, please feel free to ask. If I did not answer your question, let me know again so I can do my best to answer your question. I love these questions. All these questions are great. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Like, good question. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So let's see. Any more questions, folks? How do I make the Take this opportunity to ask. Something you were working on, something you got stuck, uh, something you are a little bit confused, and something that you were not able to find an answer for. So feel free to ask right now. Okay, so here we go. Rose asking. I would like to create a course about healthcare. Okay, I think we talked about this before. So what are the options? Before creating the course online, of course you have to understand what ways I can market my course, right? You can do it directly from your, uh, what you call it, website. You can do it from a third party uh, course, uh, what do you call a service provider. You can do it through selling your course on third-party platform. So there are many options. But your first step, Rose, I think I told you what was your first step. Your first step is, since you said, I would like to create a course about healthcare. Well, create the course. That's your first step. Create the content. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Greg L. Guzman. The first thing is, because you know healthcare or whatever the specific niche you are in, start writing. Okay? You can open a Google Docs. Start writing your course. Once you finish that task, then I will tell you what's the next step. Why? Because if I give you all this information about X, Y, and Z, option, you know, T, S, and V, right? If I give you so many options, you're going to be possibly a little on confused or overwhelmed because there's too many. So the first thing is you have to write down your course, right? But before you also write it down, who is your audience? Who is your customer? What's their demographic? What's their income? Why do they want to learn this? Write down these questions and answer them with full details. Do research about your audience because if you create a course that the customer don't exist for it, then you're basically wasting your time. You know what I mean? How do I open Google Docs? Let me show you how to open Google Docs. It is super easy. I'm going to share the screen. Yes, it's all the way there, yeah. but I think all the way down. So let me show you if you can see the screen. So let's say all you have to do, Rose, is so simple. Just type docs, which is a short for Google Docs, yeah. Documents. Documents yeah. yeah. Docs dot Google. That's it. Docs dot Google. So you have to have your Gmail account, you can also, yeah, but this is the simplest way, yeah, but you're absolutely right. This is the option right here. So docs.google right here.com. You log in with your Gmail account, and there you go. 
these are the you know these are some of the documents that I have. I'm gonna go through them quickly because those are secret documents, right? So all you have to do, click on this big plus sign. You're watching this, you're gonna click on this big plus sign and there you go. What's the title of the document? I'm gonna call it, uh, let's see, uh, here you can give it a name. Uh, whatever you're gonna name you're gonna give just for your reference, call it healthcare course right here, it's still thinking, okay? Here you go, give it a name right here. For example, health care course by Rose. That's kind of right. Health care course, course by, by Rose. Rose. Okay. Makes sense. And here you're going to start typing S chapter number one. And you type everything. You know, how, how you want to organize the course, you know better than me because you are in that niche. You know your business. You know what you're going to teach. Just write them down as a rough draft. If you do not do this, there is no point to find out what are the additional steps in terms of what size should I start with, what company should I go with, how should I... Just write the course first. Write it down. How many pages, what do you want to teach, why this is beneficial, for who it's beneficial, how it's done, what are the steps, what are the resources, you know, all that stuff. So that should be your homework. Okay? <clears throat> Make sense? Uh, how do I start using Google Analytics on my website? That is an excellent question, Greg Il Guzman. All right, so let's look at the screen. Let's let's walk you through. Do me a favor. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Google Analytics on your website, but I need your help to uh, go ahead, come here. Oh, log in? Yeah, I want you to log into your website here. Yeah. And here we go to the keyboard. Log into the website. And also, I'm going to show you something else. It's slash WP. So right now, I'm showing Greg Guzman, WP. a.k.a. Greg L. Guzman. It's a dash only. No, no. It's a dash WP oh. dash admin. There you go. Admin. Enter. So right now, Greg is going to log in to his uh, amazing travel blog website that he's working on. This is his side hustle project. He's been traveling to a lot of amazing places. He has a lot of experience on how to travel under a budget. He shared a lot of stories with you know with me and a couple of our friends, and we basically told him, "Listen, man, this is a lot of good, great stuff that other people, even like myself, would love to know." what else you used to travel these amazing places under a budget or whatnot. Very interesting stuff. So Greg is going to work on that project to share amazing tips and values. Then he is going to monetize that. Okay. So this is Greg's backend dashboard for a self-hosted WordPress website. Okay. Let me see if you all can see that. So I had him log in to his website. Now I'm going to ask him to log in to Google Analytics. Do I have, am I supposed to have an account with him already? Yeah, which is your Gmail account. Oh, uh, If okay. you have a Gmail account, you have oh, you Google Analytics, okay. right? Gotcha. So now what happened, they changed the name from Google Analytics to marketingplatform.google.com. So here I'm going to ask uh, uh, Greg to go ahead and click sign in to analytics but because I already signed in it's gonna force me to sign in with my account so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna log out from my account and have Greg log in and I can show you guys step by step how to configure Google Analytics okay how to configure Google Analytics with his uh, website so give me a second here let me log out because I'm logged in here. One second. Okay, Greg, do me a favor, bro. So it's your Gmail account, right? So the same Gmail that you use to Gmail, that's all That's all we need, right? Mm -hmm. So let, let the screen come up. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, use another account here. So this is good, man. Okay, yeah. so go ahead. Of course, don't show your password. Yeah. So go ahead, enter your email because you need to have a Gmail account to log in to the Google Analytics. And let me you can also see it on the live stream right there so we can make sure it shows up properly. Then go ahead and put your password. I'm going to click on the I. And so now what Greg is doing, he set up his website. Uh, now he wants to configure the Google Analytics to the brand new website. So let me show you guys right now, when you log into Google Analytics for the first time, this is how it looks for the first time, okay? This is how it looks. So the first step is, let's see, oh, I'm sorry, this is Gmail. I don't know, that doesn't look like analytics, let me change it. That's uh, what it's supposed to look like, right? Yeah, so, yeah, that's weird, because they changed the name. See, mm -hmm. so you have to kind of directly pick it up from here, but typically... Because this one's analytics.google.com. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're absolutely correct. It should be analytics.google.com. <clears throat> Since he logged in, Google browser automatically will pick it up, hopefully, in most cases, right? Right. So, let's see, guys. Uh, okay. Uh, there you go. Uh, Google Analytics, they changed the background a little bit. Look at that. You're going to, it's a little bit different. It's not the typical low one I'm used to. Yeah. So, let's see. What is this here? Let me start measuring. Yeah. There you go. So when you come right here, you're all seeing this, right? Can you see it? Check the Facebook, make sure you can shut down the voice there. We'll make sure this yeah, comes yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. So this is a brand new design. So the first thing you have to do when it says account detail, account name, this is something for yourself, right? You don't have to put the domain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the name of his company as the account name. So I'm going to call it, oops. Not use it. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the account name. I'm so used to like copy and paste. There you go. Okay. What is this? There we go. Let me delete all that. All right. There so Scuffy Nomad, right? Yes, sir. So y'all watching this? Pay attention, guys. This is very, very important. So here we go. Scuffy Nomad is the name of the account. Scroll down, make sure all these are automatically selected, okay, by default. You don't have to uncheck them. When you go down, the next thing you click next, and it will ask you, I mean, do you want to do this for a mobile app or a website, or an app or a website? So in this situation, it's just a website. So we're going to pick the website, okay? Then we're going to click next. Now, this area, website name, does not tell you to put the actual domain, but it is asking you what is the name of the website. So in this Scuffy case, Nomad. Scuffy Nomad. That is the name of the website. So I'm just going to put here Scruffy, like a Scuffy. Scruffy Nomad is the name of the website. Here, website URL, I'm going to select the HTTPS. Then I'm going to put the domain here. And here, here, going to be www. See? Scruffy. No matter. It's a dot com, right? Dot mm -hmm. com. Here, I'm going to put the website. Make sure you select HTTPS because I believe Greg also configured the SSL certificate for his website. Now, you're going to select the category. So, what's the category for this one, uh, Greg? Is it automated, beauty and fitness, books and literature, business and industrial market? Computer electronics, finance, food and drink, games, healthcare, hobbies and leisure, home and garden, internet, exactly. telecom, jobs and education, laws and government, news, online communities, people and society, pets and animals, real estate, preference, reference, science, shopping, sports, travel in the Bingo. travel business, right? That's your category. Yes. Okay. Uh, time zone, because we are in San Antonio, we're going to stick with Central. Central, they have Chicago. Then click create. You're all seeing this, right? Once you click create, Google is asking you basically, hey, we're spying on your browser, on your website. Would you allow us to spy on you? Sure, go ahead. Allow it. I accept. Then agree to these two agreement. I accept. And now 
you are going to get this code. It's called JavaScript. So traditionally, what we used to do back in the day, um, back in the day, we used to uh, copy this. Check this out, guys. So your 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 UA ID is this one here. Okay, your tracking ID is here. But this one, if you scroll down, if you scroll down, why oh, this is not going down? Uh, I'm sorry, this is weird. Uh, come up. What the? What the? There's a code right here. It's not. Something is weird. Come on, go, go. Let me refresh it. So there is this code, okay? This JavaScript code that technically you're supposed to copy it and put it on the back end of every single page is under the header. But you don't have to do that because what we're going to do, we're going to use another plugin called Monster Insight. And we are going to let Monster Insight automatically grab that code and mm -hmm. put it on the website for you. Oh, nice. So this is the code right here. You see this code? This is the code that you're supposed to put it on the back end of the site. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to go back to the dashboard. Let's see if he has Monster Insight. I think I do you do? Yeah, Here we go. Models. Monster Insights. I'm going to go to Insights Settings because he already installed it. But let me show you guys what is Monster Insight plugin. So what Greg did, he installed this plugin here. It's called Monster Insight. Okay. So this is the plugin that he installed in case you guys want to know. It's a free plugin. They also have a paid version. You do not have to use the paid version for now. So this is the amazing plugin that connects your Google Analytics account with WordPress. If you want to learn more, feel free to go to monsterinsta.com, look at some of their awesome material that teach you how to use the tool and how to utilize your Google Analytics. It's a great resource. Okay, this is the guy Saeed, homeboy Saeed, who owns the WP Beginner. He acquired this tool from Yoast. He's an amazing guy. He's the owner of WP Beginner, one of the most awesome websites when it comes to learning WordPress. Okay, so going back to the dashboard of Greg's website, there you go. Monster Insight. Is configured. I'm gonna select connect to Monster Insight. I'm gonna click this. And now, since the browser for the Google Analytics is open, this plugin will try to communicate to your Google Analytics without you copying and pasting the code. Mm. So it's easy. So in this situation, I'm gonna select Scruffy Nomad as the Gmail account. You all need to follow this step by step, okay? Then I'm gonna say yes, allow. Greg's account to be connected to Monster Insight. And this is the data. This is the account for Monster Insight. All right, you see the code, what I told you, the code, the UA code. So that's the one. You're going to select this option here, all website data, complete connection, and voila. Wow. How easy was that? Easy. Right? Super easy. So now what happens, it will take you anywhere between... Uh, 16 to 24 hours for the for the yeah, analytics to, to work. Yeah. Because right now you don't have anything new. So when you log into the Google Analytics, you're not going to see any data. Probably it's only you checking the website. It's going to migrate over there. Correct. But right now his account, his Google accounts, it is automatically configured on his Word, uh, WordPress, self-hosted WordPress based website. So he, he doesn't need to do anything else. Right here I can select allow tracking usage. So that means that I don't have to go to the Google uh, Analytics site anymore. I could just that is an straight. excellent question. So Greg is asking me, should I log into the Google Analytics to check everything? My, my answer is yes. Still go to the Analytics too because the Google Analytics has a lot of full dashboard with a lot of data. This one will, will grab a few things. Make sense? I would still recommend that you should log into the Google Analytics here for a more complete picture of the whole thing. Yeah, because when you come right here, look, if you come right here, home, you will see there's so many options that you can pull from the actual analytics. 
Okay, but for right now, all the important thing right now, we just config, configure the analytics with your website. Make sense? <clears throat> Even though you can view the analytics from the back end of the website as well, but I was, but I still recommend that you log into the actual analytics. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, now, and then now I can see everything. Yeah, it's gonna be completely zero right now. So, so this is how you configure the analytics to, <clears throat> excuse me, to your self-hosted WordPress site. Now, there's another tool you have to configure and that is called Google Search Console. So let's go ahead and do that as well, okay? Sure. So everybody can see this tutorial live. L-I-V-E. You want some water? Yes, please. I was like dying. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's go to google.com slash webmasters. It is 10.30, folks, p.m. Central Time here in San Antonio, Texas, Friday night. Awesome. Let me know if you're all enjoying this session. If you if you do, please go ahead and tag some of your cool business friends. Invite them, tag them, and share this live streaming. So right now, we are going to log in to Google Search Console. <coughs> And from, this is very important, especially if you want to make sure your on-page SEO is done correctly. If you get attacked by a malware, uh, Google Search Console will let you know. Thank you, bro. Yeah. If you uh, want to find out how many impressions of the website shows up on the Google Search, how many clicks you are getting, it's, it's very amazing. The, this is, these two tools, the analytics and the Search Console, is a must. So right here, I logged into the Google Search Console. I'm going to select, um, let's see, grab the domain. How did you get there again? Uh, Google.com slash webmasters. So I'm going to come to the Google Search Console here. I'm going to put the domain. Okay, I think like this. Y'all watching this? Okay. Continue. Now, mm -hmm. Google Search Console will give you several options yeah. to verify the account. So there, are, there are five ways to verify through the DNS, through Google Analytics, through uh, an HTML file, file that you have to download and upload to the server, through Google Tag Manager. So there's so many options to verify. So when we added... Uh, Greg's website, it automatically told us that the only way to verify the account is to log in into your GoDaddy account, right? You have a, you bought the domain from GoDaddy or SiteGround? I bought it from GoDaddy and then... And then the hosting from SiteGround, side. okay. Yeah. So there are many options. Some of them look scary, but some of them are very easy, like the Google Analytics. The reason it did not pick up Google Analytics because we just installed Google right now. So that's why I didn't pick it up. So let me see if it gives me another option to verify for now. Uh, it says to copy this, right? Sign into your domain provider. So in his case, it's Google GoDaddy. Once you log into GoDaddy, we're going to copy this code and create something called a text record, okay, on his domain provider. Then after that, we're going to click verify. So go ahead, log into your GoDaddy, please. Mm -hmm. GoDaddy. Here's the keyboard. So Greg is going to log into his GoDaddy account. Bear with us because the because the live streaming and the internet Cue the is elevator a little bit music. slow. Go ahead and click. There you go. Sign in. <clears throat> yeah, you don't really realize how much uh, bandwidth live streaming takes up until you're actually yeah because it's going to like several places too it's going to uh, YouTube and Periscope as well at the same time then you guys are also using the internet so everyone is working what did it do is go scruffing on my the, the password <coughs> oh it's my username that's what it's asking for oh I got it scruffy nomad So Jeremy Paul fixed the computer, huh? Yeah, he was good. Amazing man. guy. He yeah, really his, his use of it approved. Yeah. 
is Yusufat approved. Mm, is that the That's username? Weird. You sure? Yeah, should be yeah, cause it's for mm. it's for my GoDaddy. Unless I spelled it wrong. Now my password. Try again with the password. There's no caps lock or anything on. That's what it was. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. So right now, Greg logged in to his domain name provider because he bought the domain from GoDaddy, but the hosting, he got it from SiteGround. So what Google is telling us right now, Google is telling us, yo, copy this code, go to the domain manager, and create a text record. So how would I do that? So anytime, if you go with any domain provider, the first thing you have to look for is the DNS manager. So this is the domain, it says DNS, right? I'm going to click on the DNS, which stands for Domain Name Server, because yeah. Ali is a graduate from CodeUp. Come on, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, CodeUp, man. Ali Baraka is a graduate of CodeUp, okay? So right here, you have all these name servers, and let's see what else is there. That's it. Uh, we, we can't display the DNS server because the DNS server are. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, because I tell you why. Because your hosting is with SiteGround. It was, no, it's like cheap sites or it's cheap something. Is it SiteGround or Namecheap? Namecheap. Name okay, so, so that means we have to log in to Namecheap because the. Oh, one second. No, one second. Because the name, the DNS. The, the domain provider is from, from GoDaddy, yeah, I but the, the hosting... GoDaddy, yeah, the hosting is on Namecheap. Yes, the, the hosting is Dago, Namecheap. You are absolutely correct, Mundo. But let me check something else. Manage zones. Manage zones. We'll try this, because sometimes you can verify it, not through the web host, through the domain provider. So let's see. D, 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 D N, S. You are right. It's not going to show up right here. Okay, so that means we need to log into your site. I mean, the name cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> name cheap. That's the cool thing about doing things live. Like, things probably doesn't work. All right, so we're not going to mess with the GoDaddy because he bought the domain from GoDaddy, but the DNS or the hosting is hosted with the name cheap. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this. He probably, how much he paid? Like 17 bucks a year for, the, for hosting uh, and uh, yeah, something like that. It was cheap. Yeah. Like for hosting the SSL uh, to buy the domain, it was like awesome. 70 bucks. It was super All right, cheap. So go ahead and log into Namecheap. This is pretty cool, man. You, you're like finishing everything on the site now. Yeah. You okay? Selling domain is a business too. What is it? Selling, Selling domains. domains. Yeah. People do that. Are people actually watching? I haven't seen anybody commenting. <laughs> they probably got like, what is this? What is this? Ah, too much stuff on the screen. So scary. What is this? Uh-oh. 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 All right. So before we do, let me check and see if anybody's still alive. Let's see. Okay. Oh, well, oh okay. So Sean Dixon, Greg is using 2020 theme. He might want to use a professional blog theme since he's already connecting it to Google Analytics. Excellent point. That's true, Sean. But for now, he's focusing on just writing the content. And after that, we're going to talk about a better theme. Awesome. Step by step. Okay. Travel, control C. <laughs> Sorry, but I didn't see none of your comments. Rose, yes. Sean, oh no, good idea. And name cheap. Yeah, I know. Uh, Sidegun is better, of course. Again, guys under a budget, so sometimes we gotta do what you what gotta, gotta do, do right? right? All right, so there you go. Uh, what is what is the DNS? Oh, let's see. So this is the domain. What is this? Come on. What is this? This is transfer. What, what kind of problems is he talking about with like C panel? Oh, yeah, because yeah. I mean, it's cheap. They're not that great. You know, they're not that. I forgot, uh, what do you call it? Malleable, I guess. Yeah. You can't do a lot with them. Correct. So C panel. What the heck? Come on, man. Uh, there you go. 
I want, I want to look for the DNS. Uh, I agree with Sean. Say a side ground is best, but it's still sometime we just gotta start. Still thinking. I'm going to the C panel because I want to look for the DNS manager. So this is the C panel within uh, Namecheap. Uh, C panel. No, no, DNS. There we go. Zone editor. That's a DNS zone editor. So from here, let's check it out. The domain error. You see that? A record, CNM record, MX record, manage. Let's see if we can add more records. See all these records? A record, C name, text. There you go. This is the one text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this, copied, then I'm going to come here. I can edit it or I can add another one. So to be safe, let me go ahead and add a, another one. So the name going to be the domain, okay? And the type of record I'm going to add is called add a text record. There you go. So the zone name is the domain and it's a text record. And now I'm going to copy this code from Google Search Console, put it right here, okay? Okay, then add record. So the text record is added. If you don't want to check it, uh, let's see, there is one, two, Three, four, where did it go? There you go, right here. Do you see that? That's a text record. So we added it, and now let's go ahead and click verify and see if it verifies. Voila, ownership oh. verified. The tingles. Yes, so click done. Done. And what else? Continue. Okay, it's done. What's next? What does Google Search Console do again? Uh, it does with your search engine. It, it helps with uh, with search engine, with the SEO, to make sure that you follow the on-page SEO properly. Also, to submit the website for Google indexing. Mm. If you get a malware, they will let you know. If you violate their guidelines, they will let you know. If they want to penalize you, they will let you know. Mm. It will also show you which keyword are bringing traffic to your site and your position of the website on the search engine and what's the impression. There's so many things you can do. A lot of technical stuff, though. Okay? All right, so we configured it. Now, let me go back to the dashboard. So here's the property. There you go. So for now, so Search Console is asking that somehow the website should be added four times. Okay, should be added as dub like HTTPS and also HTTPS with dub dub dub. So later on, we're gonna add it four times because one with the HTTPS www and one with HTTPS only and no www make sense so at least the first step is taken care of the next step we're going to check we're going to come back later on and re-add it back as different link all you have to do click on add property and put it here again let's see oh not this one let me go back uh I'm going to add it with HTTPS, right? So you just add it four times or? For some reason, I think automatically they'll pick it up. Yeah, it's not giving me that option. That's fine. I know I saw a notification that was asking me to add it four times, but it doesn't does it give me the option. Because again? the HTTP and the www, that doesn't mean it will give you the same exact reading mm. when the tracking thing happens. It's considered mm. a different domain mm. because of those two options. So anyway, folks, the analytics and the basic search console is added and configured, and he doesn't need to do anything else. Let me log out from these domain providers. And that's it for now for 
Greg, all he has to do right now is to focus on creating the blog post in the past. Excuse me. Because he's going to put a lot of tons of amazing content. And then we're going to do on-page SEO. I don't know if you knew that, but I actually like took it out of um, the coming soon mode. Just oh, really? To, yeah, because I started... I started putting up some stuff on there and I just wanted to get people to see it. That's know? fine because you can show them that you're working. Yeah. Like you're doing something. Okay. Things I hate about travel. Nice. <laughs> oh, okay. See? I love when people take action. I love your this stuff like this and you know, a very good job. And we need to have the the sharing, the social yeah, sharing. Yeah, and I also wanted to do it because you know when you when you're at the the page, the front of the page, right? Yeah. Some blogs will have it to where they give you like a like a little piece of it and then they'll say read more if you want to read into it yeah but for some reason here it just has it when you're on the blog it posts no you know you can thing. do it let me show how no. okay let me show how you can do that you come to the post okay mm -hmm. okay guys let me see anybody commenting anymore no okay i guess they're all dead <laughs> all asleep. uh how to be a good tourist right yeah no, 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 i oh, hate okay let's check on this one you also have to make categories. You don't have a category. Okay, yeah, so I did. I did them travel reflection. Okay. So let's say here, you want to have that uh, read, read more. Yeah. So all you have to do, my friend, still waiting. You see, uh, where did it go? You see this? Yes. Oh. So all you have to do, for example, uh, let's say uh, introduction. Let's say if you want to do. Okay, I'll give an example. Even sure. though there are numerous things to love about travel, there are also many drawbacks that I'd like to discuss. Below are a few things that myself and... Drop that. Nice. Click update and let's like see... Like a cliffhanger, right? Yeah, and what? I'm going to click more. <laughs> so let's see how it looks. So now, see that? Ooh. Continue reading. Nice. Okay. Yeah, but there's one issue, though, because your images didn't show up. So here, uh, featured image. Uh. You got to put featured image. So what happens, then you're going to have the text, the image, and snippet. So text, can I, can image. I, can I just click and yeah. drag that featured image in there? We can do that. Let's go uh, featured image. Uh, this one? Yeah. Or this one? It's <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> do mass anyway so <laughs> don't forget to give an alternative text saying this is an image of right you um, have to for the blind people you have to put it here an image of whatever the image is okay okay gotcha. later on yeah yeah so we're just going to go ahead and set the feature okay update man i'm so proud of you man you've taken action i like this, that this i'm doing language, it bro i posted guys. like five articles yeah. already uh, so this is my language you guys speaking from coming over <laughs> what is guys doing? <laughs> what is doing? He wants man? to learn WordPress too. Okay, so look, now we are refreshing it. So let's see how it looks. Boom! Huh? Oh, you have to scroll up because it's oh, the other article. There you go. To. There we go. But try to get an image that like this fits the what do you call it? like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. See that? I got you. There you go, man. Don't forget Saturday, twenty ninth, WordPress class from nine to four. Okay. Like back in the day, another so. another question yeah. since yes. nobody else is asking questions. How do uh no, right, you can check if anybody yeah. another question. Wow, that's so old. How come you're still there? I don't know. Is that, is that I've been with you. I've been right video? next to you for a oh. minute. <laughs> okay. All right, um, people probably got tired because it's Friday. Wait, that was there? Oh, they're out clubbing. Yeah, you canceled it? Huh? You canceled it? I like the stuff that you showed. Uh, showed cancel what? Are you in? No, you, he didn't end his live stream yet, did you? No, we're still live. It is? Yeah. yeah, you're still live. I need to learn technology, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's your question? Okay, question is, is uh, how do I... So you know at the top of some pages, you'll see like a uh, get free advice here, or like figure out steps or like here, get my free guide or whatever. Then they ask you to put your email in or whatever. How do I do the call to action thing at the top of my page, you know, where it's like um, all nice and fancy? Uh, for that one, you have to use... Off, am, am I off the screen? Yeah. No, you're fine. No, you're still on the screen. Am I? You like the, you like the dark side. Oh, um, that's, that's, that's <laughs> <up>. <laughs> so, 
So for that one, you have to use a third-party email marketing service, like mm. you know, Mailchimp, MailerLite, not MailerLite. Mail, uh, MailChimp. Uh, so let's try with the Mailer Light. See if it's uh, because with Mailer Light, let me see. Because with Mailchimp, you can have up to two thousand subscribers and it's still free. Mm. So, but with Mailer Light, they have an additional extra features that's a little bit better. Then uh, <clears throat> yeah, Jim. So let me see. Sign up for free. Oh, it's only fourteen day trial. Oh. Not anymore. Excuse me. Like before. Now they charge. Uh, what, oh, one second. It's actually. It's free for up to a thousand subscribers. Monthly cost free. Yeah. So up to a thousand, it's free. So it's still free. Mm. So what you need to do is you need to sign up with mailer light then from there you have to configure it where you can get that pop-up and you can capture the name and email addresses mm. so go ahead to your laptop right now go to mailer light and sign up i will do that do it now get to the mailer do it now. yes any more questions no they're <laughs> going back and coming down and going back i didn't know i was in i thought I was you've been, you've been like this i look on the screen like yeah yeah I didn't all the time <laughs> he, he was on the screen like this I saw him. All the time. Oh. So, any more questions, folks? It is 10.50. Rob Sanders. It makes perfect sense. Thanks. You're most welcome, Rob. Rob is also working on some amazing project. Oh, is he? Okay. For, the, for the veterans. Nice, bro. So, awesome. he's working on some amazing project to help them with the financial management. So, you got to check it out. So, anybody else has any question? I actually did have a, another question. Please, go ahead. With, you know, kind of within that. So, like... Say, for example, if you wanted to make another page your home page, uh -huh. could you do that? Like, yes. Could you create a new page and then say, okay, I want this to be my home page domain? Yes, you can do that by going to, first yeah. of all, the, let's understand this. The WordPress by default, the home page by default is, is the blog page. Mm -hmm. But you can have a static page, call it home, call it about, and move the blog page somewhere else. You can like, do so that. On his, he's got like all his information here, whatever, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. And then his blog is a separate page. I'll tell you how. So right under the settings. Oh, shit. I like, beep. Forgot to put the beep. Oh, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay, man, listen. My live stream is a... Halal. It's a halal rated. It's kosher <laughs> G rated. Hey, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. So no, I'm I, myself only, but I can't control what's behind me. So, yeah. so people have to deal with it. I'm not behind you, but it took me a while. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Yo, you got to deal with me right here. Check this out. <laughs> okay, okay. So you go to the settings, then reading. From here, see, the home page is the blog page. So what you do, you select this and call this, let's say, uh, I'm going to do an example now. Okay. Let's call it this about. And this one, uh, and the home page, uh, uh, one, sorry, I'm going to make another page and I'm going to call it a blog page one second what happened here oh i did a videos page too i created another new page okay so no, i haven't awesome. put any videos on there yet it's i mean this is so much easier doing it from scratch like yeah it really is man wordpress is um, magical <laughs> i like that magical it's, it's, it's... so look the home page became about nice look at this uh, hello y'all look at my monkey friends i'll see you I'll okay see nice. well, let me click on the blog we'll see what happens Okay, I know why. Because the reason it didn't come up here, maybe we can go back to the appearance menus. Okay, and you did not add it to the menu. What is the blog page? Here's the oh no, that's not right. Custom link. That's incorrect. Oh, okay. Incorrect. Okay, yeah. we're gonna remove that. So do you just change the? Oh. No, what you do, you make a page called it blog. Oh, that's, Let me what, show yeah, you. that's what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to come to pages, just like how you made about and contact us right, in videos. Right, right. So I'm going to write, write, write. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to call this the block. Okay, I'm going to call it block Does, quickly. My, all my other blogs get deleted? Oh, yeah, just one second. No, no, won't be, nothing is deleted. Oh, Everything okay. is still there. Yeah, all the pages are just okay. different pages. Yeah, so now I have to create the blog page. Go back to appearance, menus. So this like what is he like doing spoken word in the dark? 
possibly talking to his mom, maybe. He's, oh, okay. He's proving why he's worthy. <laughs> <laughs> he's proving why he's worthy. Good one. I like that. Good one. Good one. Okay. So now I'm going to save this in the menu. Okay. Right. Then I'm going to go back to the settings, reading, because from here I have to set up the home page. I can call this home and not just a bot, right? Mm -hmm. But look, you see the blog came up? Mm -hmm. Now, blog, right? Now check it out, check it out. So now I'm gonna go back to your home, refresh. See this? Mm -hmm. Give it a second. Now I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click, 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 click. And let's see, one second. Still thinking, so slow. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dum da da dum. So now it's a two all in the blog page. page. Yeah. Yes, sir. Nice. See? Nice. And then I can make a new page like yes, sir. this one. Yes. Just have all my information. And that's another thing too, is linking your social media, like having we can do that too. Hyperlinks. Yeah, but for now, like I said, right for right now, focus on writing all this content because I'm gonna teach you how to optimize it. Okay. For the search engine. Then I'm going to give you some ideas on how to keep it simple and nice and clean. You don't have to go cook completely fancy. Just focus on getting the traffic, the organic traffic, and build it from there and capture those leads. Okay. That's it. There are 100 stuff to make this super nice, like Mercedes Benz and whatever, but you don't need to do that right now. You got to focus on the priorities. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions, folks? Oh, look at this. Ding, 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 ding. Screen of the screen of the screen. So for those guys who want to keep updated to this, like, um, when is the next time you wanted to continue from where you left off uh -huh. with, with, with Greg so that they can continue? Oh, yeah. I mean, everything is saved in Facebook Live now. You can come back and look at it. Yeah. And we can come back next time and see what you did as an accountability factor so you can show it step by step. Okay. And the reason I want to do this step by step because I want to inspire other people that, look, if he can do it simply with the strategic step by step plan, anybody else can do it. That's the whole exactly. idea because I want this to be duplicatable. Right. If you want to make it look like super amazing side, which is great and good and you should, but even initially it depends on your situation because you don't have enough budget to start make, building something great. Right. Start with what you have, because the most important thing is to have that audience read the material. Exactly. You got to grab the audience. So your audience, all they care about the amazing content, how easy to find, how easy to share. Then we can talk about all the other fancy stuff. Make sense. Gotcha. And this will inspire others because you can teach others how to start and you can actually document that this is how it started and you can have an affiliate with Namecheap and mm -hmm. GoDaddy and you can have this video there yeah you can you know what I mean so mm -hmm. you can show others you want to start a blogging website here are the stuff that I did so so anybody can do it okay so that is the whole idea yes right? absolutely uh, for the company or organization just scruffy no man yeah okay. what's that without being so uh, I sorry what is it uh, seafood Sifu? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not that uh, the scammer Sifu, Don Locke, that guru nonsense scammers. I'm Sifu Yusuf. Yusufite. Huh? I'm, I'm Sifu Yusufite. Yusufite. Yep. Not like those crazy scammers, man. Yeah, you should watch that file. What is it? Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla, that guy. It's hilarious. He exposes all these so-called gurus wannabe. All right, folks, it is 10.57 p.m. Central Time. If you all have any more questions, let me know. I'm going to wait for two more minutes. If I don't see any questions, I will bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. We bounce to where? Andrew? Bounce to infinity and beyond. <laughs> where you get that line from? Huh? Buzz, it's line Buzz Lightyear from? from Toy Story. Yeah, oh. you don't know that? You don't know that? Come on, man. That's like one of the first videos, uh, I mean, movies I've watched when I came to America. What was it? Because they donated like a lot of like uh, CDs and cassettes. Yeah. So all the kids stuff when I was little. So what are you watching? Uh, say it again? What were you watching? What, what did you watch? The no, no, no. The Toy Story? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's a good movie. Oh. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> yep, yep. <clears throat> okay, everybody. I, I don't see any more questions. It is 10.58. Hurry up. Okay, brother, I created my account on MailerLite. Still, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. Shoot. Your email has to be a domain-based email, not Gmail. Oh, shit. So they're going to come back and tell you, oh, let's just wait. And they're going to, they are going to manually disapprove it. 
but no, have no fear. See for Yusuf is here. Okay, that's so cringy. And uh, Namecheap, I think you can get a free email service, which is a crappy service. Sorry, Namecheap, but you can use it just for now to get the access. So you can go to the Namecheap under the email, create contact at scruffynomad.com, then use that email to log in. So it has to be the name cheap. Yeah, and the reason MailerLite is doing this because they want to prevent spammers. Because if you have a Gmail account, anybody can set up this sort of system, so they want to avoid that. So when you log into Namecheap, I'll show you how to uh, set up the free email service from uh, Namecheap. Because you know Google provides domain servers, and now they also provide web hosting, mm -hmm. Google Cloud. Yeah, so, you were telling me about yeah. that. I guess I just didn't. Maybe I'll upgrade to Google. It's the, well, guess what? SiteGround, their server is in Google now. Yeah. So that means it's going to be very super fast. I'm glad with your blog, man. For real, I'm not kidding. Yeah. You're doing was, it. I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he Greg, like what, last week? Probably, yeah, last week. That's what's up. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. People taking action, not waiting. And step by step, you're going to see a lot of improvement. You can even take a picture of this to see how you improved. Yeah. yeah. You can log into Namecheap. Got the password? He just logged in. Remember, it was a capital, uppercase. What was it? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. uppercase something. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate it. If you all enjoyed this, please share, tag your awesome friends, and let me know if any other subject you want me to cover back on Monday. And if you're watching this as a replay, put in the comment section that it is a replay. Okay? Have an awesome weekend, and uh, don't work too hard. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>